Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatrak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the zombie fallen empire. Welcome back! We have upgraded our fleet, we've given them crystal plating over here, crystal forge plating which buffs up their hull points considerably. The um, executor titan class actually has three of these bad boys, um, which results in a total amount of hull points of uh, 24,375. That's pretty amazing, I gotta say. <laughs> That's a lot of hull points. Um, they even have 11% evasion. That's interesting. They're doing a crap ton of damage. Um, and actually, now that I come to think of it... We might just continue with an additional fleet, building some more titans. But we do have we do have um, 43 battle cruisers on here, which might be enough for this fleet. So tell you what, we're gonna go ahead. Um, this fleet is still set as a rally point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put out a couple more escorts with the minerals that I currently have. You know, another palatial district. Uh, one, yeah, let's go for two more, one, two, one, two, and that's still not it, okay, so one more, one more, I'm just trying to spread these guys out evenly, um, to buff our fleet a little bit further before we go against the, um, Teleco Blessed Order, we're still in a war, oh, and the game is having some sort of hiccup, come on, switch the mods. Please. Pretty please. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Come on. Action! No, it's not doing it. <laughs> For some reason. Aw, oh, come on. No, it's not doing anything that I that I want. It has a severe input lag now. <laughs> it's it's Incoming not transmission. All right, okay. Diplomatic offer. These guys want to exchange star charts. That's all fine and dandy by me. Okay, let's do it now. Yeah, okay. Game is the game is slogging along. You gotta be. I mean, you gotta keep in mind that we have thousands and thousands of ships. Um, do want to give you one more escort. I just want these guys to have a, a couple more of the smaller class ships. Uh, not only Titans. Um, we lost a bunch of these worlds. Um, I thought I'd actually saw the United Polysimus nations in those areas. I'm not sure um, where they went. I thought I, I thought I saw them pop up over here, uh, but then they didn't. We got um, 200 uh, fleet power from the Mesh Ben, 200 from the Imari. I wonder where the Majedi are. These are the Nurians. They're staying home. Where are the Majedi? I'm. I I gotta assume that they've uh, have actually been vanquished. Um, when they were staying up there. Okay, so now we've got a 56, got 56 disruptor class escorts. I could theoretically go for a couple more. I do think that we should be able to build these guys faster than we actually get the minerals. I mean, we're getting 1.3k minerals, so we should be able to build two per month. And that's an amazing mineral income, 1.3k. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Um, now we're only waiting for this guy to be built, and we're gonna queue up two more, and then we're gonna call it good enough. I'm gonna call it good enough. Complete. I mean, I would have liked to get this fleet up to 400k, but that's not gonna happen. I don't think. Construction complete. Right, okay, so now everything has been built, I'm gonna jump back in. The question is, should we take our our invasion fleet with us as well? That's a question. No, there are the Manjedi. Okay, so the Manjedi have not been vanquished, that's good. Let's hope that they actually follow us. 
Um, at this point, this fleet might actually be safer just following the Tandro spreaders instead of staying home. Now the question is, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I think one of the things that we might want to do is just take out the United Polysimus nations. Because they, yeah, they have pissed me off and they're, they're also stopping the, um, the, the building up over there in our enclave. So that's, I guess, something that we got to remedy if we want to get back to a, a positive war score. We could help the Mesh Ben um, take back Ovani, but if I can busy their fleets, they'll actually be able to, to get their planet back at some point. Um, I hope. That's what I'm hoping. So now we're moving out. Where are we? Right, okay, so now we're moving out. Very slowly, though. <laughs> Very slowly, but I dare not go up to fast speed. Well, I'll, I'll try. It's gonna get a little bit laggy, but oh well. And yeah, we're gonna turn you off as a rally point. We're gonna go ahead and build build more ships apart from this. Bothrian arbitrators have made peace with United Boki Planet States. So what happened? Oh, really? They actually lost a bunch of planets, it would appear. Yeah, they were forced to give up a couple of stuff. Queradox. You got your butt kicked, eh? Hmm. That's interesting. Because they were actually in That's there. Maybe they just got their, their frontier outposts um, killed off. I'm not sure. Um, Brachium 1 has finished its surface construction queue. Do I care about Brachium 1? Oh yeah, that's over there. Right. Hmm. Yeah, no, I guess that's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the United Polysimus Nations. Our vassal, Imariotocracy, has entered the war against the United Polysimus Nations. We got Imari centralized stars. We got another another vassal. Do we have a rebellion? Complete. Okay, we got some worlds terraformed. That's pretty nice. Um, well, we, we got an, an, another Imari vassal, really. Uh, let's just have a look at this Bastardon. Mari Galactic Empire and war with Polysimus Nations. Where are these guys? Rebels of Zombie Fall Empire. Are they? Yeah, they are in Lothandra. Hmm, it looks like they actually got fought down. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine, I guess they rebelled and were put down then. Oh, and there's a fleet. There's the United Polysimus Nations fleet. Crap, okay. Guys, we gotta follow these guys. What are they doing? Oh, they're kidding these people. Entering orbit of Ivani 2A. Right, we're gonna we're gonna attack them. And we've got the fourth navy cluster in the Toroville system. 279k. Alright, alright. So we got a an interesting strategic choice. But I think we'll actually go for and destroy the United Palestinian Nations first. Before we go for something else. These guys only have a hundred K. Where are they going? Entering orbit of Sprout. Right, so we're right next to them. Uh, battle should start now. We found the United Synetic Coalition. Hello. We don't really care for you. Let's go to normal speed here. Oh yeah, this should this should be over in a second. This should be over in a second. Titans are shooting now. Yeah, they're melting. 
They are absolutely melting and they should not be able to retreat. So we're gonna we're gonna destroy their whole fleet. On someone else. Hello, greet you as one. But we don't care about you, at least not particularly. Situation. Right, so that's done. We're gonna actually help our vassal. Landing army on a non hostile planet will turn them hostile against us. Should we proceed? What? Are these guys are. Uh, this planet is occupied by the Talakur. I would like to, to take that back again. But I guess that's not gonna happen. Okay then. Um, Alright, invasion fleet. You're gonna follow that fleet again then. Uh, we didn't actually take many losses. I do think things are looking mighty fine. Um, right, now about this... About this fleet. I'm actually guessing that the Turlacur are trying to get back at us. I'm gonna send my fleet into the capital system of the United Polysimus Nation. Try and um, take their capital. Give them a bit of a slap um, on the head <laughs> for attacking me. Um, oh, actually, some some planets that I wanted to terraform, I think. Oh, right, I haven't surveyed these. Really didn't have the time. I'm already terraforming that one. Um, that one is still being ter uh, terraformed, so that's that's fine-ish, I guess. That's an alpine world, and I cannot terraform that one. Crap. Okay, then. That's fine, though. That's completely fine. Okay. We are fighting. Who are we fighting? Just some telecur stations. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so the change from bombers to fighters actually did nothing for us. I mean, these guys are faster than the bombers, so you gotta hope that they actually move against them faster, maybe. But the main bulk of them is flying off in a totally random direction, which makes absolutely no sense. But oh well. Come on, kill that mining station. And I do do as I told you, you fools. Where are the Telecore? Where are they? I got no sensor range whatsoever in that region. I got the Minjedi over there. I guess they're trying to siege a couple of these planets down. Again, yeah, you're trying to take Toroville. Okay, that's their Navy cluster. So, they jumped right in. I'm gonna set these guys after that Navy cluster. I think that's uh, what it has to come to. They're gonna kill the fleet of the Minjedi, I guess. That much is for certain. Well, except, yeah, I don't think that the Minjedi will actually be able to flee. Um, oh, they're already out there. Well done, Minjedi. But well, they also might have just been vanquished. What are you guys doing? Following my transport fleet, moving to the Hithrim system. Okay. We're gonna try to catch each other. Preparing to jump to Hithrim. So we're actually gonna prepare to jump to Hithrim. Where is that system? Hada. Where's Hithrim? Um. Must be over here somewhere. Yeah, over here. Right. So we're actually gonna tell our fleet to jump in here. That's gonna be a decision battle. Okay, there they are. Following my transport fleet. So we're gonna... I think we're gonna be able to catch them. Moving to jump to Dengartu. Okay, I wonder where we'll actually appear. I think we should appear somewhere over there. Three, two, one. We're in. Not sure if we'll actually be able to catch them in time before they can jump out. Because it looks like they're trying to jump to Torville. Yeah, we won't be able to engage them. Crap. 
Crap, I guess the range is not, not long enough. We're done with society tax. Yeah, let's go for more core systems. That's always fine. Having more core systems is good. I don't trust the sectors. It's a question. No, they're gone. They're gone. Okay, so we've got to jump back to the Torval system. What are you doing now? Entering orbit of Torval 1. Right. Good. So we're going to have the decisive battle over here, uh, which is kind of logical, since it has been the bone of contention. Let them move into Torrowill. That's actually fine. Um, three, two... Actually, I'm going to stop that. Because I want to attack them from range. With our Titans, we have the better cards if we're going to attack from range. They have one Titan. We have 11. Uh, which actually does change a fair bit. Um, I do want to build another Titan. Because these guys are incredibly tanky now. I wonder if we could actually change anything in their design to make them even better. But I think they're fine as is. They still have the advanced bomber wings. We might just want to go for, for some fighters on there as well. The flak cannons are fine. Everything else is fine. I can't pull anything off because we're still... Yeah, I think that is that is alright. That is a good design. Okay, so our fleet should, should come into the system in like a second. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Right, guys. Now it counts. Now it counts. Come on, Titans. Kill these bastards. That's 280. We're at 380. So we got a hundred... A hundred uh, K gain. We do have our Strikecraft engaging them in a proper fashion now. Which is interesting, since um, normally they don't do that. Maybe they just do it if we get attacked. But, yeah, we have a whole squadron of our guys charging at them. Is that Titan dead? No, it still survives. That's not good. I mean, we're gaining. We have 120 difference now. We should actually be able to finish them a lot faster now. Come on, people. Kill these insects. Oh, right. And actually got a exchange my uh, my credits for minerals. That's something that has to happen. Hello. I want to trade for minerals. I'm going to trade all this stuff away. I wish I could automate that in some form or fashion. But I guess I can't, so I try to live with it. I'm not sure if the normal speed is actually the way to go. Oh yeah, the Titans are definitely um, kicking their butt. I hope that we don't lose any of the Titans. That would... Yeah, we already lost the Titan. Shit. I guess that won. We lost the Governor. Thought we actually lost a um, an Admiral. But I guess that's not the case. These guys are actually useful in this battle because they're drawing some fire. I think we're gaining on them. And they fled. Okay. We lost the Titan as well, though. We're down to 12 battleships, 28 battlecruisers. We lost the crap ton of ships. Uh, we're definitely gonna land our armies, take that thing back. Um, now, I guess they, they fled to Tel Akur itself. Or they fled to Akur. Yeah, over there. I guess I should retake Akur. They still must have a second fleet, though. I mean, they lost a bunch of ships now. Core Enclave is actually losing energy credits. Well, that's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do there. Just live with it. 
And they do have a construction ship, so they can build their own their own stuff. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, strategically, I mean, we won this battle again. We're going to take Torville back. But I think we're actually going to split these guys up. I think we're going to use our fleet here. I'm going to try to hunt down the um, the other guys. Maybe, maybe I'm going to split our troops. Split them. So half of them are landing troops on Torval. The others aren't. And we're actually going to go ahead and jump into a cur. We also have to, to rebuild our fleets. We lost a Titan, which is going to hurt. Um, but we also lost a couple of battle cruisers. So we're going to rebuild these guys. That's for certain. The escorts all died. But I think that at least they um, drew some fire. So that's something. For now, though, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, we've reached the 20 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope that you join me next time for the continuation of the war against the United Pilistimus Nations and Terracore Order. That's going to be a thing. Hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye-bye.